वेलकम टू ड्रीम एब्रॉड विद आईएल्स हाय टुडे टॉपिक इज आईएल्स जनरल राइटिंग टास्क टू एडवांटेज एंड डिसएडवांटेज एसे राइटिंग राइटिंग इट कम्स एज थर्ड टेस्ट इन आईएल्स एंड हैज 60 मिनट्स राइटिंग हैज टू टास्क टास्क 1 एंड टास्क 2 जनरल राइटिंग टास्क 2 इज एन एसे राइटिंग and you should write minimum of 250 words advantage and disadvantage essay writing is one of them let's go it in detail advantage and disadvantage essay in ielts advantage and disadvantage essay can be asked in different ways either with different words or with synonyms some of them are what do you think are the main advantages and disadvantages of this development or what are the pros and cons of or discuss the advantages and disadvantages and give your opinion or in what ways has this affected is this a positive or negative development or do you think the advantages outweighs the disadvantages or discuss the benefits and drawbacks of the development etc next about the structure of advantage and disadvantage essay as usual it also has an introduction body and conclusion here i am giving two types of structure essay structure one here in introduction write minimum of two sentences in first sentence rewrite the question or paraphrase the question in second sentence is the thesis sentence in body write maximum of 2 to 4 paragraphs here i am giving two paragraphs in paragraph 1 state one advantage explain it in detail with an example in paragraph 2 state one disadvantage explain it in detail with an example finally conclusion means wrap up for this summarize the key points and state your opinion if required essay structure 2 here in introduction write minimum of two sentences in first sentence paraphrase the question and outline the main idea second sentence is the thesis sentence and your opinion in body write maximum 2 to 4 paragraphs here i am giving two paragraphs in paragraph 1 write one advantage with example then explain the benefit or advantage and also state the result in paragraph 2 write one disadvantage with example then explain the problem or disadvantage and also state the result finally conclude or wrap up the essay here summarize the key points and state your opinion if required here i am giving some example questions example number 1 most career choices demand vocational skills or specialist knowledge however despite this most schools still teach academic subjects such as history or social studies discuss the advantages and disadvantages of this give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your knowledge or experience write at least 250 words example number 2 university students are increasingly studying abroad as part of their studies do the advantages of studying abroad outweigh the disadvantages give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your knowledge or experience write at least 250 words example number 3 A lot of places in the world rely on tourism as a main source of income. Unfortunately, tourism can also be a source of problem if it is not well managed. What are the pros and cons of tourism in the modern world 
and gives your opinion. Give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your knowledge or experience. Write at least 250 words. Example number 4. Small business are disappearing and being replaced by large multinational companies. Do the advantages of this outweigh the disadvantages? Give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your knowledge or experience. Write at least 250 words. Example number 5. Nowadays, many people travel by their own cars and not using public transport. What are the positives and negatives of this type of transport? Give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your knowledge or experience. Write at least 250 words. Example number 6. In some countries, young people are encouraged to work or travel for a year between finishing high school and starting university studies. Do the benefits outweigh the drawbacks for young people who decide to do this? Give reasons for your answer and include any relevant examples from your knowledge or experience. Write at least 250 words. That's all about advantage and disadvantage essay. See you soon with another type of essay. Thank you. Bye-bye.